Hello everyone, this is Okona and welcome to episode 14 of our Galaxy on Fire 2 Supernova playthrough. Now between this episode and the last one I did some off cam gathering of plasma and I went to the Aquila system where I gathered the necessary amount of blue plasma and to the Pascal in R2 system where I found the purple plasma. Then I went to the deep Vosk territories where there is the red plasma and this plasma is very volatile so that it cannot be transported back without going via stop gates. So Let's jump in. As you can see, we are still in a Vosk controlled sector. And since this journey home is a little bit more interesting, I thought I will now uh, get on cam and uh, you can see if I will manage to transport the rest of the red plasma safely home without exploding. We have a little bit too much cargo. I stocked up a little bit too much on energy cells. You see I just wanted to have the four, full 40 but I couldn't. Here you can see the red plasma I did harvest. It it's a little bit more than absolutely necessary and on Volupra we do have our chromoplasma. For that chromoplasma we need a little bit of red plasma and also we do need a little bit of green plasma but that's a story for later. Okay, then we shall go. I'm planning on jumping next to Augmenta, then to Weymeyer, and if I am in the mood, perhaps I will take a quick detour to Shima so I can deposit some of the red plasma there. I do have a little bit surplus and I think it would be a nice idea to deposit some there. Then we'll go to Nesla from there on to Eyania and finally to Chinoya where we can use the red plasma for making our color plasma. Now there is still something and I did unequip it already. I had still the Vosk signature on so that the Vosk are still friendly to me, which they are quite not, as you can remember, we had some run-in. And this makes the whole thing a little bit more difficult, since when I now leave the station I will be attacked which is also not a good idea since the red plasma is very volatile. So I think the strategy will be reach the jump gate as quickly as possible, most probably using our Yinko Shadow Ninja cloaking device. I also did employ this cloaking device to reach here and it seems to be the best strategy when transporting volatile cargo and when being under attack. So I think we shall go on. Let's pre-select our next target which will be in the Augmenta system the Gome C station. Yes we will want to travel there one of the first things we shall have to remember is to deactivate our automatically firing turret since that also disturbs our volatile cargo when we now will 
exit the station. And activate the cloak and activate the boost. Like you can see that very much stresses out our volatile cargo, but the shadow ninja cloaking device is indeed helping here. So we can use the jump gate and travel to Gome C station. Engage. Okay. And if we're lucky, and it sounds like we are lucky, since Augmented is a secure system, we can continue our journey without being attacked, so we do not need to employ any counter strategy. So let's use that jump gate and where shall we go from here? Right into Nivellian space. The Maymire system, this is of average rating, so we might face some opposition. We might. Well, we will see. And off we go. Also sounding quite silent. There is some fighting going on and there are the cloaked fighters. So let's not waste any time and engage our own cloaking device. And let's target the jump gate and fly there. Fortunately, ooh, there are Arg. There are lots of other fighters in the area, but we shall use the booster to get out of the fighting area. And we managed to reach the jump gate just in time for our cloak to disengage. Now, Let's do the quick stop in Shima. And off we go. Normally Shima is a safe system. It has a secure rating. And we can go home and do a quick stop. Join the Camo Club. Now it's interesting that there are other ships here. And as far as I see, they are my ships, yes. This is the Cormorant and this is one of an Ivalian design. Cannot name it right now. Is I think it is the A gear. Okay. Now deposit some of the red plasma. I think we need 25 tons if we check the blueprints. Just right. Now you can see when I do leave the screen here, it says volatile goods can't be shipped and must be delivered directly to the station. Oh man, what a bummer. But we are on our way to the station. Okay. We have to deliver it ourselves. What can we also do when we are in Shima? We can also deposit something for our booze collection here. Like a bit of union draught, another one, some another some tons of Punta Aperitif, some contra dish water, and here you can see I did make a quick a quick stop right here and de 
deposited some purple plasma and you can also see I did some money making by trading. Also we can deposit a little bit of pan whiskey and stock up on our energy cells. Okay, then I'd say let's go on. Next stop, Nesla and the Nivellian sector, which is a risky system, so the chance is high that we might be... Okay, there is someone attacking me, and this calls for first the cloaking device, and evasive action and stopping of the turret, since the turret disturbs our volatile cargo. Now we cannot engage the the boosters since that would disturb the cargo too much and we would explode. But the cargo has cooled down and now we could use the booster but we are also close enough to the jump gate. So let's wait the little seconds to go by and travel to Geno. Engage. Silent. Entering the Nesla system with a Geno station. Okay, this is... This sounds like the cloaking ship score. And let's boost to the jump gate. Right between the capital Nivellian ships. And lock in the jump gate. Ah, that's nice. One of the capital ships fl does fly through the jump gate itself. And let's stop the, tar uh, the turret. Fortunately, the Shadow Ninja is quite a good shield and has. Uh, well, it's not it's exactly a shield, it's, it's a cloaking device, it has held just for the right time. Now, let's cross the border into Med Mido territory and pass through the Iania system, which is of dangerous rating. Okay, and off we go. Welcome to Eania. Station Kalz Bar, and there is some hostility in the area, so we will cloak again. And cloaking device has engaged. Let's use the jump gate again. Okay, these are pirates. So there are lots of hostiles. Let's cool down our red plasma. Or at least wait for it and use the booster. As you can see, the booster is a very, very helpful addition. And I would recommend getting one as soon as you can. Now, last stop, Genoia system. And in Genoia, our target will be Varlupra. And in that Varlupra orbit, the new generator will be built, for which we will now supply the plasma. And I think I have not equipped the enhanced gamma shield so I do not have too much time but it should not be too dangerous okay go to Volupa station and since we are impatient let's also boost there one boost is is just enough 
Okay, we are here. Great, so go into the hangar and complete the chromoplasma, or at least the red plasma part of the chromoplasma. Okay, did it. Now we still need a little, a wee bit, I'd say, of the green plasma, five to be exact. So let's just fetch that. As far as I know, you can get it in Mido. We got it last time at Kernstall. And let's just check if our ship is equipped correctly for that. For harvesting plasma, we need some of the ion missiles. Then we need a gathering turret, but we have still the real turret installed. Just when I thought I should have something to defend me, I realized that turret also disturbs the volatile cargo and I could not use it. Okay, install the PM Bipolar S turret, which is a little bit better than the one we got from Gunant. Due to its wider range and higher rotation speed, the MB Polar 5, or is it S? I'd say 5. 5 is the more powerful than the Proton. The absorption speed of the Plasma Orb is a bit slower though, but I take range over speed any time in this context. Okay, install the Plasma Collector. And we also need some plasma detector, which is here, the spectral filter, which is currently not equipped. Let's unequip the nearby overdrive and equip the spectral filter for now. The spectral filter is also better than the original one. An improved plasma filter, which indicates potential plasma clouds on the HUD, the head-up display with the aid of a thermal waves. Okay, now I think we're good to go. And go to Mido. And in Mido I think we visit Kernstall. Ah, it's nice to use the car door drive again. Enjoy the view. Okay, and also we could now do some fighting since we can not worry or we do not worry too much about the cargo right now. Did we? No, we did not. Here you can see uh, I equipped another nice piece of equipment which steals some of the energy of hostile ships and puts them directly into my shields. I cannot remember how it is called exactly, but we can look it up if we dock at a station later. So there is still one right in our back. It's a nice strategy for them to decloak in your back and then open fire. So if you would want to use that strategy, if you are using a cloaking device, go ahead. Well, here is one gas cloud at 7.5 kilometers and another at 8.5, was it? Let's take that one. And do it by the book. First check our secondary weapon. We need the Iron Lambda Mark 1. Then we shall go in the near vicinity of the plasma cloud. Have not yet found out how many kilometers is the right way. If you do know how many kilometers or 
how much distance I should have to the plasma class. Just write it below for any comments. And then launch the missile and detonate it and then go to the collector and collect all the plasma orbs. Yes, okay, I'd say that should be enough. And let's use the car door drive to jump back to our Lupra. And off we go. Okay, remember that we now will equip the Gamma Shield. Let's see what happens next. What new task will have Cardor upon his sleeve? Oh, here is also some kind of plasma. What is it here? It seems to be a green plasma. Or is it a... Uh, is it yellow? Mm, looks like the green one. Okay, I could have harvested the plasma here also. Well, did a little sightseeing tour instead. Okay. Now, let's complete the chromoplasma. The last pieces of blue plasma and Ah, it's Keithius Maximus, the man we've been waiting for. Not going. A solid man of many means indeed. Thanks to your efforts in obtaining the required plasma, we can begin charging up the array at once. Take your seats, ladies, gents, and persons of alien persuasions. The show is about to begin. How exciting. After all this hard work. Now, with this knob, we inject the required amount of the chromoplasma to the array chambers. And now to save the galaxy. Mr. Cardor, would you do the honors? Please, at your convenience. Oh my! What an honor! I suppose I should make a short speech before we commence this most historic occasion. My earliest memory of studying supernovae was when I was still but a yearling in my wet nurse's tentacles. I looked up at the stars and noticed... Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh. Some of the cloaking fighters. They might perhaps... This is a message from the Novellian Republic. Ooh, new ship. You are ordered at once to cease in your illegal operations on reclaimed Novellian space. You are trespassing. That's Trunterval with a guard of stealth fighters. Mm. So he was behind the attacks all the time. What a two-faced. The Mentorian experiment is being terminated for the treasonous abomination it is. Those who capitulate now will be returned to the Novellian fold. Those who resist will feel our thunder. That is a nice ship. I like it. Okay. I think I will either f to the plasma array. We must defend it at all costs. Okay. I can also Say goodbye to your ridiculous plans. Okay. That should teach you a lesson. Take two. What next? This is terrible. What are we going to do now? Keith, come back to the station. We need to plan our next move. Okay, let's plan our next move. Oh man, it sounded too good. 
and go back to the station. Disaster! Calamity! Tragedy and misfortune! Think positively, Cardor. We need you now. My scans indicate various intact parts among the debris. Yes, yes, of course. I should maintain decorum in a crisis. Let me see. Our scans do indeed detect that all four prisms are in the immediate proximity and are salvageable. The chromoplasma is scattered, but we can send out crews to collect it before it disperses. The platform arms are floating loose and need to be secured, but the platform is gone. It smithereens! Damn it! Where are we going to find a replacement on that scale? There must be something we can use for a platform. There is one obvious candidate. But I'm not certain that you would appreciate the suggestion, Dr. Paolini. What is it, Carter? Quick thinking is what we need right now. Well, Valkyrie... Oh, gods, no! Carter's right, Carla. Valkyrie is about the only ready-made structure with a thick enough hull to support the array this close to the supernova. Looks like I'll have to pay your sister a visit. Just do whatever needs to be done, Keith. Get Valkyrie back here and don't fall for any of Alice's ruses. You know what she's like. I know how to handle her. I know how to handle her. Okay. I think this was a rather long episode. Lots of things have happened. If you have any comments, questions or other things to say, please say them below. Also, if you liked this video, then click like and subscribe to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day, night, evening or whatever you like. And we will see each other again.